I came here to give Lily a gift and to leave you a note. And I certainly did not mean to intrude, so I will go now. Bye-bye, Lily. Honey, I'll be right back. Just hold it right there. Look, Laurel, before you say anything that you are going to regret, I might as well tell you what I wrote in that note. I came here to see your daughter. I certainly never meant to run into you, but since I have, I will tell you what I wrote in the note. I made a sincere apology for the unfortunate scene that took place last night. It seemed to upset you very much. Somehow you always manage to upset me, Erica. I said that I'm sorry. If you have a message for me, give it to me, to my face, not via little notes or surprise visits to my child. Excuse me, Laurel, I never came to see you. And if you hadn't come waltzing into Jack's room last night uninvited, you never even would have known I was in the state of Ohio. Well, according to Jack, you weren't invited either. Jack and I are old hands in this. Uh-huh. Jack and I know how to keep things interesting. I guess some women do reach a certain level of desperation. I'm not one of them. Oh, no. The way you came barging into Jack's room last night, you looked fairly desperate to me. I don't have to justify myself to you or anybody else. Or stand here arguing. I've got a little girl with a broken arm in that oh, room. Oh, that's a cop-out if I ever heard one. I beg your pardon. Using your child as a lure in the first place was really low. But using her now, that is twice as low. I have nothing against your child. I bear that child no ill will. I am so happy that Lily is doing better. But you act as if I didn't care. And I wish you would stop doing that. Gee, you sound angry. Yes, I am. Would you like to know why? Could I stop you? Women who use their children to hang on to men are beneath contempt. They give our entire gender a bad reputation. <sighs> and women who cannot hold on to their men should at least know when it's time to let go. We're preparing Jamal to testify against Louis Greco for selling him heroin. The DA's coming over now. So you're going up against the big guys in the suits, huh? No sweat. I testified in court before. This will be different, Jamal. Remember? We talked about this in family therapy. The DA is going to ask you all sorts of questions, everything, right down to the smallest detail. I can do it. <laughs> oh, guts. This kid's got guts. <laughs> proud of you, son. Very proud. I hear congratulations are in order. You're, um, engaged. Good news travels fast. Yep, <laughs> on time and out with Miss Jane Cox. Yeah, Jane Cox. Hey, Merle. Hey, Merle, I told you I owed you a beer, but I didn't mean you could collect it this morning. <laughs> Hi, Merle. Hi, everybody. Uh, listen, I came to see Jack about a, a, a bequest from Mona. You're asking me? I'm the last person on the earth that knows Jack's schedule. He's not here. He's taken a personal leave, and I have no idea when he's coming back. Did you have an appointment? Oh, well, I, I just took a chance. Is something wrong? Lily, his daughter, she broke her arm. Oh. Lily Sarge? She's in Maximus Hospital. Jack and Laurel flew out yesterday. So you think it's time I gave up on Jack? Jack divorced you, didn't he? Why do I bother to be polite? Polite? You're the one who chased me out here. I didn't start this. I've been so civilized. I stood by and watched while you snaked your way back into Jack's life. He was married, but so what? What's marriage to you? Nothing, obviously. Tell me, did the fact that he was married make him even more attractive you to you? You know something? If I were you, I really would cut my losses. I'd retreat while I still had some dignity. But you're not me. Do you remember how dignified I was? When Dimitri started divorce proceedings against you, I opened my home to you. I invited you to stay with us. There is no point. I was we kind to you, Erica. And how did you repay my kindness? You slept with my husband. Men who are happy stay home. The others are fair game. I certainly did not tell Jack to leave you. That was Jack's choice. That's the choice Jack made. Now, if you can't face that or accept that, that's your choice, but it don't blame me. Erica. Good morning, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hi. Uh, somebody want to tell me what I just walked in on? Here. So, uh, what's up? Erica. 
Eric had dropped by the hospital to bring Lily a gift. Stuff to apologize. Wasn't that thoughtful? She also left a note of apology for last night. You apologized? Yes, I did to Laurel, because I certainly never meant to make a scene. Well, then I take it the uh, battle's over and the dust is all settled. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Did you think two grown women, mothers, were going to have a hair pulling contest in a public hospital outside an injured child's room? I don't think so. Thanks so much for coming, Erica. It was the least I could do. Have a safe trip home. And your broomstick. Oh, Jack. Forget about that. Did you... You apologized. Yes, I did, in writing. I believe me, I never intended to see her this morning. Or you, for that matter. So just tell Lily that I hope she's better soon. No, wait, 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 wait. Can't we go have a, a cup of coffee at the cafeteria to talk about this, please? I have nothing more to say to you, Jack. And I have a plane to catch, so... Bye. Erica, will you please wait? And that pumpkin grew to be 25 pounds. 25. Hey, that's a pretty big pumpkin. How are you doing, pumpkin? Did you mind me tell you that I was here? I brought you a bunch of beautiful balloons. Where's Erica? She, uh, she had a plane to catch. Good. You know, Jack, why don't you fly home, too? Lily and I are really fine here without you. Well, is not my brother in any way that counts. We did not have the same mother. I didn't even know him. He was a complete stranger until a few months ago. He is not a stranger anymore. I can't believe you. You are still trying to get me to make this enormous sacrifice for Dell's sake. Your mama used to say, God never gives you more than you can bear. Don't you dare quote my mama to me. For the last time, I am not going to give up my dreams for your sake. It's not my sake, it's Dale's. He's a good boy. Will was a good boy, the one you forgot about. He was my real brother, the one I would have done anything for, given anything. But it's too late. He's dead, and I am not your other son's keeper. When I look at you, I keep seeing this little pigtail girl with a heart so big she'd drag home every stray animal in town until after you left after that we could barely afford to feed ourselves much less a bunch of stray animals what happened to that little girl dixie that truthful tender little girl you're acting more like will now and that can't be because you don't got that in you how do you know what i got in me or what Will had in him. We were children when you left. When you disappeared and destroyed our lives without a second thought. If you're looking for somebody to blame how we turned out... Daddy, you just blame yourself. Opal, I love you. If you and Peter are... You're everything to me, I, I'm sorry I let you down. And you promise you won't ever point a gun at anyone again as long as you live, so help you God? Yes, I... I swear I, I won't jeopardize our marriage again. I swear. Well, then I forgive you. Opal, I'll never leave you. Who's at the door? Well, don't ask me, Ludbug, but I think you should get it in the... I'll get rid of them. <clears throat> well, you just hold that thought. Mm. What are you doing here? You know you can't come here unannounced. What, what is it? What do you want? I have no choice. What do you want? Is it safe to talk? Safe to talk? What about? What's the big secret? Mrs. Cortland, hello. So nice to see you again. Jane was just leaving. Yeah, well, she asked if it was safe to talk. Uh, about what? What is going on that I don't know about? Business, business. Nothing important. Here. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sure it's uh, just business. I mean, what else would it be, Lovebug? But I am a full partner in this business, so I want to know what it is that's not important to Jane. Oh, I was just reading an article in the paper the other day about corporate espionage, and Mr. Cortland had told me about your stolen 
fried chicken recipe, and I was wondering if we shouldn't budget some funds for anti-bugging devices. Bugs? Well, there's no bugs in my fried chicken recipe. I'm talking about electronic bugs, you know, so they can't listen in and steal your ideas. That's why... That's why I was asking if it was safe to talk. Oh, oh, well... You two go ahead, just do your wheeling and dealing. I'm gonna run upstairs, check on my little, on our little PD Kins, and mm. I'll see you later, love, but again. Quick, your getaway. No, we have to talk. Not here, not now. Here, now, Palmer. We're in big trouble. Oh, look, I am sorry. I am very sorry about what happened last night. But I am glad to see that you and Erica somehow managed to bury the hatchet. Fine. It's all settled, then. You did bury the hatchet. Not as deep as I'd like to. Look, you know, she and I are just never going to be good friends, okay? So, can't we just drop it? It was a misunderstanding. End of story. Okay. But you do accept my apology. Sure. Good. So, what can we expect the doctor to stop back around? This afternoon. And um, there really is no reason for you to stay. You know, Lily's on the mend. She's going to be really soon. We're just fine here. You can go back to Pine Valley. I'd like to stay. <laughs> Lily! You took a little nap, honey. How do you feel? Um, Lily, Daddy's still here, but he has a lot of work to do at home. You know how busy he gets. And, uh... So do you think that you could give Daddy a kiss goodbye and tell him it's okay that he goes? Sounds like your mommy's trying to get rid of me, doesn't it? <laughs> Daddy. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm outvoted. You sure? Okay. We know you have a lot of work to accomplish in Pine Valley. Well, look, I want you to take good care of yourself, and I want you to take good care of your mommy, too, okay? Okay. I'm leaving you in very, very good hands. I love you, sweetheart. See you soon. Bye, Jack. Bye. I can't find anything here about special requests, and, and Nancy's out sick. Oh, well, that's okay, darling. Listen, I'll wait till Jack gets back. Uh, I should have made an appointment anyway. But I was hoping I'd run into you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember last night, all that advice that I was so free with? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I take it back. <laughs> I thought it was good advice. Well, honey, I, I, I said it was okay to do anything, you know, to keep from, from being alone. But, but uh, that was wrong. I mean, some things simply are wrong. Now, go after what, what is right, what is real for you. And, and, and when you find it, you go get it. I mean, don't hold back. We'll go into the conference room just as soon as the DA gets here. You seem a little antsy, bud. Hmm? Me? Hmm. No. Hmm? Okay, some. It's on your mind? Well, when I testify, will Louie be there? Yeah. But there's no reason to be afraid. I'm not afraid. Listen, Greco's in custody. He's not gonna hurt anyone anymore. And they're gonna put him away for a long time. And you're safe with us. Myrtle, I take what you say as the gospel truth. Take it with a pinch of salt. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Montgomery Associates, uh, Jackson Montgomery's office. Trevor, is that you? Jack? Yeah, look, I'm at the airport. Where's Nancy? She's, uh, she's out sick. Oh, that's great. Well, look, tell whoever is in charge that I'll be back right after lunch, all right? Uh, Jack, Jack, you're coming home, so, so Lily's okay? Yeah, Lily will be released today or tomorrow. She's fine. Wait a second, you're... You... She's still in the hospital, and you're leaving her? That's none of your business, Trevor. I'll be in the office by two. Jack. Jack. Don't tell me. I understand. Listen, big fella. 
You listen to your heart. And whatever it tells you to do, you go ahead and do it.